Real quick, uh, just talking about the maintenance on these saws. Uh, <clears throat> I got myself a bunch of these brushes from Harbor Freight. I use these to, to clean everything off. Um, work very nicely. You can get a box of them for, oh, geez. I think I paid, I don't know, 10 bucks or something like that, and you get 36 uh, brushes. So they work very well, and, and they're worth it to, to use it. But anyways... After you clean your saw, okay, you want to get in here with your bar, uh, take your bar, get your bar tool in here. You want to clean these grooves. This is that West Coast uh, gauge, and uh, I use this to clean it out, and I also use a toothpick. Um, you can get probably... Oh, I don't know. Maybe a tank or two of fuel. So everything's clean. This is clean. The chain gets put on. Everything gets put on. You sharpen your chain. Run a tank of fuel. Okay, the chain's dull. Sharpen the chain. Run another tank of fuel. And that's about where I um, uh, take it apart and clean it. I mean, no matter what kind of bar you want to run, you're, you're going to uh, get sawdust in here it's just the nature of the beast and how much you want to tolerate is up to you i mean I, like i said i usually go about two tanks of fuel and then i just rip it down let's take it outside with the brush and just brush everything off clean this and you should be good to go so i should be good to go for another two tanks of fuel and then we'll re-clean it 